Well, hello friends, beautiful rising, good afternoon and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is the weekly review of our daily chakra energy readings, and this is week 50 review, December 11th through December 17th of 2022. So Sunday through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th. So thank you for stopping by the channel. Thank you for checking in on this weekly review. So all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is a message here for you. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is. So let's get into our week 50 energies. So as you all know, there are 52 weeks in a year. So that means that we are pretty much almost done with the year. We only have two more weeks left of this year. So yeah, kind of amazing. And this year ends on a Saturday. So it is literally next week and the week after and we are done so I hope that this year has been so great for everyone it has for me I've experienced so much growth and yeah so let's get into our weekly review so just taking a look at all of the cards we had affirmations many affirmations coming through for us this year and we had or I mean this week and um the affirmations were all from different chakras so I thought that that was kind of great because I don't believe well last week we may have got maybe one affirmation so yeah like from week to week we get you know a different number and it's been so cool just to watch to see like what energies come out for us and yeah so let's start with Sunday so Sunday the 11th last Sunday we got card number 100 the last card in the deck so grounding the chakras Music and free expression with dance is a great way to recharge and harmonize your chakras. Dance freely to awaken your inner self. Don't worry about any outside influence other than your own feelings in the moment. Once you have tired this out, take a lie down and notice how inspired and harmonious you feel. So think back to last Sunday. What were you doing last Sunday? Did you turn on a bunch of music? Or, well, like a bunch of music. Did you turn on music and dance around? Or, yeah. How was your energy last Sunday? I feel that on that day we were being guided to ground our chakras. And the best way, you know, as it said, was to listen to music, music and dance. So think back to Sunday and see how that energy applied to you. So I want to say that any that I feel that this all of these energies could apply to any point during the week. So. This is just the energy, so you could have felt it at any time during the week. So, yeah, think back to Sunday or think back to during the week. When did you just decide, I'm going to put on some music, I'm going to dance, and I'm just going to be happy being myself. So, yeah. So, on Monday, we got the third eye chakra affirmation, card number 81. I am connected with my higher self. So, I am connected with my higher self. I feel that we are always being reminded that we are connected with our higher self. So, maybe think back to Monday and see how this affirmation played out for you within your own journey. Was there a... Did you need to remind yourself that you're connected to your higher self? Did you need to... Or maybe you just noticed that you were connected to your higher self. However the energy plays out for you within your own journey, you will know. So, on Tuesday, 
Tuesday, we got card number 69, throat chakra affirmation. I love to share my experiences and wisdom. I know when it is time to listen. So think back to Tuesday. Think or just think back during the week. Was there a time that you were experiencing or sharing your experiences and your wisdom with those and with others? And maybe you were just a good listener or being a good listener for someone that needed it. However it applies to you within your own journey, you will know. But the affirmation, I love to share my experiences and wisdom. I know when it is time to listen. So I will say that for me within my own journey, I watch the chakra affirmation videos that I have on in my playlist um, and I let them all just play through because I feel like once it starts and it starts with the root chakra there's like you might as well just finish the whole system and watch all of the videos but um, I've been I've been watching those videos and just tuning into the affirmations and the music and yeah, allowing myself to, or allowing my chakras even, to just tune into that and relax and balance. So, yeah, however the energies apply to you within your own journey, you will know. So, on Wednesday, we got the card number 60, balancing the heart chakra. The best way to receive love is by giving it. Being kinder to others can help to strengthen and open this chakra. What can you do each day to help those around you? Forgive old grudges and let go of the past. Avoid being too critical of yourself and others. Compliment others and go out of your way to spread kindness and bring balance to your heart chakra. So, card number 60. Sixes are the number of balance. So, think back to Wednesday. Was there something that came up with, within your own heart chakra that you needed to, you know, take some time and forgive yourself and forgive those around you so that you didn't walk around with that energy? Or at any point this week, like, I like how this heart chakra energy breaks up the rest of the affirmation so it's like you know we had on Monday and Tuesday we got affirmations and then on Wednesday we got a balancing the heart chakra so it's like okay remember the affirmations but let's get that heart chakra balanced so that and be mindful of balancing our heart chakra so that we can continue on with the week so however it applies to you within your own journey you will know but on Thursday, we had a third eye chakra key concept. So on third eye chakra Thursday, <laughs> we got card number 76. And it says, this chakra's key concepts are intuition, dreams, vision, imagination, and awareness. This chakra's color is indigo, and it combines all elements, earth, air, fire, water, and ether. So I feel that... You know, at some point during this week, there you would have been, um, what is the word, encountering the, possibly like all of the elements. Maybe you were very aware of the elements around you. Maybe you were at some point like, you know, I really enjoy this water, or like maybe you were by an ocean, maybe you were by a river, whatever, maybe you just went outside and enjoyed the fresh air and were mindful of yourself as you were enjoying the fresh air. Maybe you went out and were connecting with the earth. However the energy applies to you within your own journey, you will know. But I feel that on Thursday, we were being guided to the third eye chakra and to being more mindful of what the third eye chakra is and how it applies to us within our own journey. So our intuition, our dreams, our imagination, vision. Maybe on that day you were just 
more aware than you have noticed yourself being previously. So however the inf however it applies to you, you will know. So on so on Friday and Saturday, we got solar plexus chakra affirmation and a crown chakra affirmation and we got 39 and 93 so that is mirroring energy so so however this mirroring energy applies to you within your own journey you will know but I just felt like that was significant at least to bring up so it could mean something for just one person. It could mean something for a couple people, however it applies to you. But um, when the mirror energy is like the flip, so it, so I feel that whatever was going on for you on Friday would have been an opposite of what happened on Saturday. So maybe you had a bad day Friday and Saturday was a great day for you. Or maybe you had a great day Saturday or great day Friday and Saturday was not so great. However it applies to you or, you know, like up, down, left, right. <laughs> However it applies to you within your own journey, you'll know. So on Friday, we had a solar plexus affirmation come out. Card number 39, I make my own decisions with confidence and conviction. And that card coming out, I feel that we were being guided to be confident in the decisions that we make. So when we decide that we're going to do something, that we're doing it from a genuine, whole, loving, honest place and not from a place of fear or thinking we're going to be judged or being forced to do something. So however that energy applies to you within your own journey, you will know. And so I do want to also say that if you want to go back and see what the messages were for those particular days, then you can also, you know, go back and watch those videos if you choose. So, you know, maybe you are tuning into the weekly review and you want to see, oh, well, I want to know more about Tuesday's energy, then you can go back to the 13th and watch that video and see how that energy applies to you or see how it resonates. So, yeah. Um, but, so yeah, that was the energy for Friday. So, was there a decision that you needed to make that you needed to stick to and be firm in? However, it applies to you, you'll know you will know. So last but not least on Saturday, we had a crown chakra affirmation come through for us. Card number 93. I am open to the abundance and the greatness the universe offers. I am open to the abundance and the greatness the universe offers. So I feel that we were being guided on that day to be open to the abundance of the universe the abundance and the greatness of the universe so however that applies to you you will know maybe there was something maybe you got invited somewhere somewhere that you would never usually ever decide to go and you just decided to go and you had a great time maybe you were it maybe it came down to oh let me I'm gonna try a new food <laughs> you know it could have been anything like but what it comes down to was just us being open within our energy to know that nothing happens on accident, that things that are brought to us are brought to us for a reason, and that everything is a beautiful gift from the universe if you choose to see it that way. So, yeah. So, that is the energy for week 50. Week 50 of 2022, December 11th through the 17th. So, yeah, that is the review. We got some good affirmations coming out for us. So, if you want to write down any of these affirmations, or even if you just want to go and watch 
these affirmation videos that I have on the playlist and you can do that as well so however the energy applies to you and resonates with you for you within your own journey then you will know so yeah but that is the review so I want to thank you all for stopping by my channel I appreciate every single one of you who watches these reviews because I know they are longer than the daily energy, but I still thoroughly enjoy doing the weekly reviews because it's good to see the energies out, just laid out, and see how the message changes from the weekly review from the dailies. So, yeah, but I thank you. I appreciate all of you so very much. If you resonated with any of these messages, then please feel free to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you so choose. So, thank you, thank you, thank you all once again. I will see you in the next one.